Today you're going to discover is standing waves and its connection with harmonic series. So what is standing waves? Standing waves is like a transversal wave likes to keep moving as you know. When a transversal wave meet a barrier, it has no option but to bounce back. Bounce back with what? Bounce back with um, equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Creating nose and anti nose. Look at the guitar. What do you see? Bounce of nose and anti nose. We call it a standing wave. We're also going to investigate the connection between the standing wave and, of course, harmonic series. What is harmonic series? When we talk about harmonic series, we are talking about the sequence, sequence of harmonics, a sequence of tones. We're going to start our conversation with, again, a rope. If you pull a rope, it can create palms. If you keep pulling a rope, it can create a transversal wave or series of palms we call waves. Okay, good. Now, if you create waves, transversal waves, how transversal wave can become a standing wave? Well, you put a barrier. So you put a barrier over here. If you do put a barrier, this transversal wave must bounce back with equal magnitude and opposite direction. So how, so what is the definition of standing wave? So a standing wave is type of waves, is type of transversal wave, who is meet the barrier, when it meet the barrier, it bounces back with equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Create interference, but uses the same medium. Standing wave also creates the nodes and anti-nodes. So what the node? Node is the place where no motion. So how many no motions we have? One, two, and three. No motion sounds like doesn't no motion doesn't sound like music so let's let's give it a name we're not going to call it no motion we're going to call it note so how many note three note how many anti node anti node is always one less than the node and what is the definition of anti node the definition of anti node is where the maximum displacement takes place that is anti node i see this is maximum displacement and this is maximum displacement so anti node Two. Now, let me give you a quiz before we move on to harmonics. Equal and opposite, equal magnitude, opposite direction. So, note and anti note. Pause the video and count the note and anti note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven note. One, two, three, four, five, six, anti note. Okay, now we're going to talk about harmonics, harmonic series, a sequence of tones. Okay, all right, let's go. Okay, this is steady. So, rope, rope number two, rope number three. Same guitar, the length of the rope would be same. Same guitar, length of the rope would be same. Guitar one, guitar two, guitar three. No, it's the same guitar. It's three scenario. All right, now connect this idea with the first harmonic, second harmonic, the third harmonic. The first harmonic, what do you get? You got one wavelength. Uh, no, half wavelength. So half wavelength. The second harmonic, you have one wavelength. The third harmonic you have one and a half wavelength. So now what would be the lambda for fast harmonic? Two alpha. What would be lambda for second harmonic? L. What would be the lambda for third harmonic? Alright, so what do you notice? You notice something that allow you to discover the equation for lambda what does that mean if someone tell you find the nth wavelength and that would be the equation for nth wavelength and how can you find it very easy you put one over here now you put two over here and you put two over here okay that means you multiply l by one so what do you notice? On the top, you notice you notice you're noticing something. On the top, you have two L, two L, two L. Okay, good. So put two L on the top. 
on the bottom what do you see one two three grand and is the anti node good all right so this is the wavelength now that's not the definition of harmonic series the definition of harmonic series i told you is the is the sequence is the sequence of harmonics or tones whose frequency is the integer of the fundamental frequency what does how can i say it in equation this is how i can say it any frequency any frequency of harmonics is the integer multiple of the first harmonics so we're gonna use only the first one we have to find the we have to find the lambda so lambda is velocity over frequency we already know lambda lambda is 2l over n so 2l over n is equal to v over f so now 2l f is vn okay so f is equal to what f is equal to vn over 2l now we have to find v over 2l is what so v l over v over 2l is what that's what we're going to find now let's come to the fast harmonic what did we know about fast harmonic fast harmonic we know velocity is lambda times frequency and lambda is velocity over frequency and lambda is we know that lambda is 2l for fast harmonics v over f and then 2l f is equal to v so then f this is the fast harmonic so you put fast v over 2l so v over 2l is the fast harmonic so the frequency of nth harmonic is n times fl and that's what it is now you're going to solve a problem using this third harmonic cycle 45 time 10 second and the length of the string is 6 meter let's draw the third harmonic this is the first harmonic this is the second harmonic and this is the third harmonic And there should be a barrier. And this is a standing wave with third harmonic. Good. What do we want to find? Frequency. Frequency is so you're gonna you can write it down like this. Frequency is let's just start from here. Frequency is so frequency is cycle is 45 and time is 10. So frequency is 4.5 hertz. Period is time over cycle. So time is 10 and cycle is 45. So 10 over 45 is 0.222. Now find the lambda. Lambda is 2L over N. So N is the anti node. 1, 2, 3. So lambda is 2L over 3. So 2L is 6. 3. 3 goes to 6 twice. So lambda is 4. So now we can find the velocity. Velocity is lambda times frequency. Lambda is 4. And frequency is 4.5. 18 meter per second. So today we learn the standing wave.